On this episode, I'm heading back out to the hunting and fishing cabin, and I'm taking my family with me. It's mid-March, spring is around the corner, and we have the birds out chirping, we have the squirrels out bouncing and jumping, and most importantly, the snowshoe hare are out and about, and that's what we're after. Join me as we hunt them. Hey everyone, welcome back. Glad you could join me today. Just out in region three, it's about mid-March. Looking for some snowshoe here out for a walk with my family here. Beautiful sunny day. It's about hovering around zero degrees. Uh, not so much snow this year as previous years, but uh, still nice to have a bit of snow so you can see the rabbit tracks and uh, seen lots of cat tracks so far. Probably lynx. And now uh, we'll see if we can spot some snowshoe hares. They may be already starting to turn brown and white this time of year, so hopefully we can find them. There are some darker. Uh, patches uh, where the snow has melted so those are good places to spot snowshoe hair if they're white because they'll uh, obviously contrast and stand out so uh, we'll keep walking here through some snowmobile trails and see if we can find ourselves a snowshoe hair Good job, Natalia. They're I just got a find. Yeah, they're probably, they're probably a couple days old. Day old. Yeah, I'll take you out this. I will. Why don't you aim at that yellow? Are you see yellow? Well, remember, you gotta take your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Remember, keep your finger off the trigger like that. Okay, I haven't loaded around yet. So we're gonna... Okay. So it's ready to go now. Remember the other eye. That eye. Little shooting range here, just had Natalia and Lisa shoot the 22 a bit, just a few rounds each, but it's good to get the kids behind the gun and the wife too. It's a beautiful day to be out about in the nature, love it. Been walking for a kilometer and a half or so. Been seeing some tracks, some fresher, some older. No sign of snowshoe here yet. Keep walking. It's just a beautiful day to be out. It's pretty mild, not too cold, and just sunny and a bit of wind, but it's a beauty day. The rest of our time out was pretty much the same. Great views, great weather. We saw some tracks, but we didn't see any snowshoe here. We headed back to the cabin to enjoy the evening, get a good night's rest, and I was looking forward to the next day to get out and find some rabbits. The next morning, we woke up to snow, and I was stoked because that meant we could track the rabbits better. So I headed out in pursuit of some snowshoe hair. <laughs> the focus dial to change the depth of focus obviously and, uh, and that way you just have a way better chance of picking out one of those beady eyes that the snowshoe hair have, have or the dark tips of their ears or just little bits and parts of the rabbit 
and now you just gotta make your way slowly through the forest and when you find tracks that's especially when you want to stop and scan and uh it's just a game of luck and cat and mouse and maybe we'll get lucky this time haven't had one for a season now so two years ago i shot my last snowshoe here be nice to get one we'll see She's at home. There you can see his tracks. Let's see if I actually hit him. Fingers crossed. Well, that's where he was. Actually, I think I might have got him. See the blood over there? Yeah, I see him bundled up there. Looks like I got the rabbit. Awesome. There he is. All curled up. Not a very big guy. Let's we'll see what we can get off of him. If we can get another one, we can guess too. Looks like I hit him in the back of the head. Should be a good amount of meat saved there. Sweet. Awesome to see success. Got with my trusty Ruger 1022. Shot to the back of the head, clean kill. And uh, yeah, these suckers are hard to spot. As you can see, they're all white. But oh man, that fur is nice and soft. All right, cleaned the rabbit out. And, uh, did a pretty good job, I think. Got him cleaned out, so now the meat can cool off and uh, keep on trekking and uh, let's find another rabbit. Well, I had a chance on the second one. I spotted it and uh, just as I was going to get my rifle out, it spotted me and took off running uh, away from me, obviously, and uh, tried to relocate it but it was behind some really thick alder brushes so there's no way I could uh, get at it but it's a good sign that there's more snowshoe hair I'm just gonna hop my way back to the cabin and see if we can spot another one if not we'll be out tomorrow again to try and get another snowshoe hair <laughs> Back at the cabin, show the fam that we had some success today. Hey, hey look what I got! Check it out, Sadie. Yeah, yeah, we got a snowshoe here. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Wow. I almost got a second one, but it ran away. Got away from me. Yeah, was a wow, cool snow fort. Sadie. Yeah. the meat in the fridge my wife wanted to use some of the rabbit fur to make a pom-pom for a knitted hat that she made so I pinned it up on this post for the hide to dry the next day I was eager to get back out and track some more snowshoe hair 
I made my way to the gut pile and decided to check it out to see what kind of visitors we had overnight. It looked like there were some birds and mostly cats that came by to make quick work of the gut pile. Not sure if they were bobcats or lynx or maybe both of them, but there were some pretty good sized tracks indicating that there was perhaps some pretty mature cats that came by. Pretty neat. Alright, well, it's creeping along pretty slow, glassing and checking all the willow and alder branch trees and every angle. It took me about an hour and a half to go, maybe three quarters of a kilometer. I'm just gonna work my way back now, probably a bit faster. Tons of tracks everywhere. So let's see if we can spot one on the way back to the cabin. So it turns out the one snowshoe here was all we're gonna get on this trip. But I had an awesome time being in the great outdoors, enjoying nature, and teaching my kids once again how meat gets onto their plates and how it's naturally sourced. Nature is a miracle. It's one that we should respect and protect. My favorite way to eat snowshoe hair still is deep frying it, but first letting it soak in buttermilk with some hot sauce, rolling in some flour and spices and deep frying it. So good. Thanks guys once again for joining me on this hunt. Really appreciate you guys watching. Leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. You guys are great. Thanks so much for part of being part of this community. Until next time.